Hello, thank you for joining me. In this short video, I'm going to talk about multi-well plate support in Image Pro. Now, formats that support multi-well plates at present include OME TIFF, our own MCS format, HGS Studio, EVOS, Micromanager. In addition to this, you can import data as well plates via the import tool. So I'm going to start by opening a well-based data set. In this case, this was downloaded from the Broad Bioimaging Benchmark Collection, with its accession number BBBC13, and it's been imported uh, as a multi-well plate and saved as an OME TIFF file. So let's open that data set in the OME TIFF format. And as you can see, we get a plate viewer, which is a kind of a plate map open automatically. All populated mount wells are displayed in the plate viewer as blue. So where any unpopulated wells, they'd be displayed in light gray. But as you can see here, all of my wells are populated. Now from here, I can select any well, click on it, and the contents of that well are displayed in the workspace. And you can see the selected well is displayed in red. And as I click around, the selected well updates in the map. Now I can use the plate viewer to set an active range of wells. The active range being those wells that will be included in analysis and processing actions. And I can do this by dragging to select a group of wells. And you can see that those wells inside my active range remain in blue, whilst those outside are displayed in a very light blue. I can also select the active range by just clicking on a column head or a row. And if I hold down the control key, I can do this additively. So I can select several rows. I can reset everything to the active range by clicking in the top, top left hand corner. So let's set row A to my active range. And let's select the deconvolution option. And if I select a derived PSF, I can very quickly hit the deconvolve button. And I should deconvolve now just row A of my plate. And here you can see that Image Pro has now opened a new data set with my deconvolved data in it. And it's opened a new plate map, this time with only one row of wells, because I had only one row of wells selected in my active range. Similarly, if I execute a protocol with a plate based data set with an active range selected, the analysis will only be performed on the wells within the active range. So I'm going to deselect setup mode and run my protocol. And notice that in the heat map that's generated, there's only one row populated, the one that was in my active range, row A. If I do any image processing, so let's select a 2D filter. So I'm going to apply the Sobel filter. Now this will only be applied to those wells within the active range. So if we take a look at the plate, deselect the active range. If we scroll through, we'll see that those wells within the active range have had the filter applied, and those that are outside it have not. And the final thing we can do with an active range is crop. So if I go to the select ribbon and hit crop, I can make a new plate based data set that only contains a single row. Thank you for watching this short video on plate-based datasets. If you have any questions, please contact Media Cybernetics and we'll be happy to help you.